Good morning, and uh, this is a Thursday thought, but I'm sharing it on Friday. Uh, we're continuing the, the series on one another, uh, the way we live and love and, and serve one another within the body of Christ. And this morning, I think of the passage from James chapter 5 that says, Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. Now, confessing our sins to one another is not something we uh, are typically too eager to to do. Um, it's an interesting thing though because for the most part those others in our lives, especially those closest to us, already kind of know the stuff in our life that needs some correction, right? And that's and that's what it means to be healed uh, isn't just about physical healing, which sometimes is the is the result, uh, you know, our disease or sickness or or things that need uh, made well in our lives are, are the result sometimes of our sins. And so when we confess our sins, confession isn't just about uh, speaking them and saying, here's where I've really messed up this week, or here's some things in my life that are in need of, of correction. Sometimes it's a, it's a whole way of life that needs to be transformed. And, and it takes a community to help us do that. And when we confess our sins to one another, it's not, it's not that we need others to be the mediator of our sin before God. That's that's the role solely of Jesus Christ. But when we confess our sins to one another, we're acknowledging and we're admitting and being honest with one another about the areas in our lives where we're falling short, where we're missing the mark. That's, that's what sin literally means uh, in some translations of scripture, that we're missing the mark. And so it reminded me of, of when I got my new rifle and uh, was going to the gun range to kind of get the sights zeroed in. This is all new to me, so I'm learning this as, as I go along. But thank, thankfully, I had brothers in the church that have helped me uh, get those sights uh, zeroed in and, and corrected, right? And it, it was a great picture because as I'm shooting at the target and missing the mark, another person that has the spotting scope and they're looking at where I'm, I'm hitting the target or where I'm missing the mark and, and they're encouraging me on how to make the corrections and adjusting my sights. Until you, you do that enough times until you finally get uh, a straight shot. You get, you get the sight zeroed in on the target. And I think that is a beautiful picture of what it means to confess our sins to one another. We, we rely on the community. We rely on trusted brothers and sisters who know us and, and are, are, are kind of scoping things out with us and, and helping us see more clearly uh, the trajectory of our lives and who want to help us get things zeroed in. And, and likewise, we are helpful and encouraging to help others get things uh, corrected and zeroed in as well. Confessing our sins to one another isn't about guilt trips. It's not about putting on heavy burdens. It's, it's about the goal of wanting to help one another get our lives on the mark. And what a beautiful picture. What a beautiful thing we get to do with, with, with one another and for one another in the body of Christ as we come to one another uh, with our sins, with those places where we are missing the mark and knowing that we have a few trusted brothers and sisters who will help us get things set right. So this morning, as you think about that, as you consider that, who might those people be in your life that the Lord has placed, whom you can trust with, with getting your sights zeroed in? So blessings to all of you. I love you so much. Uh, and, and I can't wait to be with you. And again, uh, have a great day out there, and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.